in the last hour, I've developed a protein deficiency. I just woke up and my moustache is gone. Can't find it, man. My body's absorbed the moustache. I'm protein deficient. Okay, today's question is, Harley, Doug Graham looks like he's about 60 years old. How come? <laughs> well, here's the reality. Doug Graham is almost 60 years old. That's the reality. Sure, Doug Graham, when you compare him against the people who do Botox and they're like, you know, they hey, that sort of face going on there, they had Botox, they do human growth hormone therapy sessions in Santa Monica's clinic down there, or they're doing testosterone injections or steroids, or they're doing, you know, Botox and, you know, cheek implants and, you know, $50,000 Hollywood smiles. And that's cool, nothing wrong with doing that. But if you're going to compare apples with apples, let's not compare apples with bananas. Just makes sense. I'm not going to name any names here. I'm not into naming names. Gary <coughs> <coughs> Torbs. I've got this chest cough, man. Oh, <coughs> I don't know, you know, it's just Bangkok pollution or something like that. So anyway, if you're going to compare apples with apples, man, do that. That's fine. But don't compare apples with bananas. Another good thing to do is look at people's history. Why do they get into health? Is because they were perfectly healthy and want to get better? Generally not. It's because they were deathly sick. Same in Doug Graham's case. Deathly sick. Very sick. So motivated to get well, changed his whole life, diet and lifestyle. So we want to you know, keep that in, in mind, keep that in consideration. I remember meeting someone one time who was a raw foodist, raw vegan, and they're like, still pretty heavyweight. And I'm thinking, wow, like, what's going on here? And this is when I first got into it. I'm like, wow, you can be overweight in raw foods, which you can't in the long run. Anyway, so my friend was a bit overweight. I'm thinking, wow. So I got talking with them. I've learned that they've dropped 200 pounds or 190 pounds to be exact. 190 pounds. <laughs> so I'm seeing them now at probably, you know, 150, 160 pounds. I'm thinking they're, they're like a little bit, you know, not too uh, taut, but they've dropped 190 pounds. So I didn't take that into consideration at all. I was quick to judge off the gun. And that's cool. We do that as humans. But I tell people to... Uh, Use a bit of common sense first. Use a bit of common sense first. So Doug Graham looks like he's 60. Why? Because he almost is 60. He doesn't do any Botox. He doesn't do any liposuction or things like that. He doesn't do any human growth hormone stuff. He doesn't do hair implants or cheek implants or like the other gurus, primal paleo people do for fact. You can look at their face. I mean, look at the Hollywood starlets and stars and look at the certain people. <coughs> Sorry, that chest thing's coming back again. So let's compare apples with apples versus apples with bananas. Hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching. Post your questions down below.